Euclid postulates. We have seen that Euclid assumed certain properties which were not required to be proved and which were actually obvious universal truths and he divided them into two categories axioms and postulates. The assumptions which were specific to geometry he named them as postulates. In this video we will discuss Euclid's postulates. These postulates form the base of geometry. According to the first postulate a straight line may be drawn from any one point to any other point. Let us understand this with the help of an example. Let us suppose there are two points on a plane separated by a distance. If we want to connect them, then we can see that we can draw only one line that would join them. We can also take the help of the axiom which says that given two distinct points, there is a unique line passing through them. This means that the line from A to B is AB. Similarly, the line from B to A is also AB. According to the second postulate, a terminated line can be produced indefinitely. Note that what we call a line segment nowadays is what Euclid called a terminated line. So, according to the present day terms, the second postulate says that a line segment can be extended on either side endlessly to form a line. According to the third postulate, a circle can be drawn with any center and any radius. To understand this, let us assume a line segment PQ. Let us fix the point Q and move point P around point Q like this. We can see that this will make a circle. The length of the line segment PQ will be the radius of the circle and the fixed point Q will be its center. Likewise, we can draw a circle from any point and with any radius. According to fourth postulate, all right angles are equal to one another. To understand this, let us draw a square and a rectangle. We know that all interior angles of a square and a rectangle are right angles. Therefore, an angle from a square will be equal to an angle from a rectangle. So, these are the four Euclid's postulates that will help us in understanding geometry.